What's up guys, my name is Dennis Wearers, and today we're going to be talking about the new Manjaro release. This new Manjaro release is Manjaro Linux 0.8.13.1 i3 edition. So, i3 is a window manager, and as using a window manager, it is very similar to GNOME and all the other window managers, except that it's more terminal based. Everything you do is very terminal like, and I may even start using i3 as a type of window manager on my own desktop, just to try it out, because it is kind of cool, it's more, ha more like having multiple... Um, terminal windows open almost like when you first install Arch Linux when you get the um, Xterm window very similar to where that but it's more customizable you can have the Arch Linux logo in the background you can have a web page up you can have a desktop background behind it very very cool things and a lot of other distributions use it like Gen 2 a lot of distributions use it now this Manjaro is Arch Linux based and um, I love Arch Linux I use Arch Linux on most of my machines I use it on my Lenovo T61 I use it on my main desktop so I have the Arch Linux installation on all my main channel, you can go look at that. It's a three-part series on how to install Arch Linux, but Manjaro is more Linux beginner friendly. It lets, it's it's much easier, it's, it's like installing a normal distribution where you put your CD in, you put your, or your USB stick, and you install with next, next, install, and you're done. You set up your user, and it's very simple, and it's done in a few minutes. Now, Arch Linux is more complicated in how you have to do everything in terminal, everything in the command line. It's a little bit more complicated, though I like Manjaro because it's a little bit more stable, I haven't been able, I haven't switched to Manjaro yet as because I love the Arch user repository and I can't get myself away with it. And I still, I have solved my, um, my updating problem that I had previously. The reason why I made Arch Linux, um, what is Arch Linux rev revised was because I had updating problems, but I've solved those problems since now it was a your root issue. And now I've solved those problems so I can update my Arch Linux machine like everybody else normally, no, have, have no issues. So I'm sticking with Arch Linux for the time being, but Manjaro has always been an option for me because because instead of getting the newest and greatest software, it gets it's a step backwards in a, in a sense on updating at least. It, it's a more it's a more stable release of Arch Linux in a sense. Where um, Arch Linux, we are on the newest kernel, I believe. I, I think I'm a little bit behind because my internet is too slow where I'm vacationing. But um, on this release, they're using the Linux kernel 3.18 long long term support kernel, which is very good because that will lead to better stability in where updating and things like that, where you could have some problems in Arch Linux. Now, some other features in the new Manjaro i3 Community Edition is it has a new i3 status Manjaro uh, package and the D menu Manjaro package, and it has an updated version of Conky. So, if you have used Manjaro and i3 before, this is going to be kind of exciting because up, uh, customization and configuration is going to be even better. I love Conky, and what Conky gives you, and I have a video of what is Conky on my channel as well, it gives you this stuff. This is a widget from Conky, it's a time widget, and um, using that it's very fun, and I have a, when I have my normal setup where I have two monitors, I have another monitor with my temperature of my uh, CPU, a bunch of different things, where Conky is fantastic, and I did get a comment recently um, about temperature management and I would say to use Conky. So if you want to do something, use Conky, look up Conky and you'll be able to find out different things on how to manage temperature and then you can manage temperatures and look at different stats of your computer. So that's going to be it for this video. What do you think about the new version of Manjaro Community Edition with the i3 window manager? Um, have you used the window manager before and do you want me to make any tutorials about the i3 window manager? So as always, my name's Andy Suarez. Please rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.